Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at a cryptocurrency hardware wallet called the Keystone Pro. We're gonna do an open box, we're gonna set it up, and we're gonna even connect it to Soulflare. So let's take a look. So the nice people over at Keystone had sent me this wallet to try out. It's one of the very few hardware wallets that you can actually connect to MetaMask and Soulflare. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and check it out. So the two boxes come inside. The first box is gonna contain a battery and you also get a USB-C cable. Now this USB-C cable is for charging the battery and there's a battery indicator. White means charging, yellow means it's fully charged. And basically this device, this hardware wallet, looks like a small cell phone. You got the micro SD slot on the side where you can pop it in, biometric scanner and camera on the back. And at the top, you have your power button. It holds four AAA batteries that you can put in and swap on the fly and it's magnetic. So it just snaps in place. It's easy to remove it and then swap it for the lithium battery. We'll just peel off the protective film. And then I'm gonna swap out my battery and put the lithium battery in here. And this one has a smaller profile. It uses magnets, so you just have to drop it and it snaps in place and it holds pretty well. And we're just gonna power it on and we're ready to do the install. Before you even begin, you have to make sure you have at least 70% of your battery charged. Now, if you don't have that, you definitely want to charge the battery before you begin. If any firmware updates are required, it's going to ask you to charge it, and you don't want that to fail in the middle of a hardware update. We're going to click on the next option first. So we want to head over to this URL. We'll select that, and then we'll click on next. So we want to make sure that it is fully charged. So that looks good. And we can go ahead and click on next. And it's going to want to scan this QR code. We've scanned it. So that's been verified. Let's click on the verification over here. It looks like we're successfully synced. Click on done. I'm gonna click on success over here. And now we wanna set a password. So I'm gonna create a wallet by clicking on the create wallet button. It wants you to enter in a password. So we're gonna create a wallet with a single backup. I'm gonna make a quick screenshot. You don't wanna share this with anybody. Confirm, that is now done. And what I can do is click on confirm. Okay, so five of five, the Keystone Companion app is installed. So I had some issues formatting my SD card. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm just going to do it within the device. So I'm going to go up to the menu, click on that, system settings, format card. So that's what I'm going to be selecting. And it says, are you sure? And yes, I'm sure. Let's go ahead and click on confirm. And now it's going to format the card. That is definitely useful, just formatting it right on the device. So we're going to go back and now we can go ahead and do the update. If you scroll down a bit, you'll see that the latest version that we have over here is M-60. That's the one that's supporting Solana blockchain and currently works for the Soulflare extension. So we'll scroll back up and we'll go to the GitHub page. Let's scroll down a bit here and we're gonna be selecting the Keystone-Cold-App. And you'll see over here on the right-hand side, the latest release, which was four days ago, is the M-6.0. So I'm gonna click on that. So the zip file is right here. We can go ahead and click on it and it's gonna download. So we've opened it up and we wanna go inside the folder for M-6.0, double click on that. And we'll have the update.zip file. We don't wanna open this. We're gonna copy this into our SD card. I just put that in my computer and here it is. This is a blank SD card. I'm gonna take the update.zip and I'm gonna copy it over and let that copy over. It's a very small file. So it's copied and now I can just eject it. I'm gonna just close this window and I'm going to install it on my device. The SIM card is now in and it's asking me to update my device. So I can go ahead and check that off. And now I can click on the update now feature. Now my password's entered in. The update is now gonna proceed. It might take a few minutes. I'll just jump over to the next part. The device has now been updated. If we go over to the menu and we go into the settings option, down at the bottom, you can see that we're using version M-6.0. That's the one that we're gonna need if we wanna connect it to Soulflare. So we're at the Soulflare extension website where you can create a new wallet. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using the Keystone wallet to connect to it right now. We're gonna click on Keystone. It's gonna want access to your camera. And now we have the option for Soulflare. Now we didn't have that before. We're gonna select the Soulflare option and then we're gonna click on confirm. We wanna select the wallet and then we'll click on the confirm option up at the top. So this QR code I'm gonna bring up over to my Soulflare screen. There we go. So it picked it up here. I'll just select done. So back at Soulflare, I have the wallet now showing. I can check it and then I can click on continue. So I'm gonna assign a password to this. And once you have your password in, you can click on continue. 
Now we have my wallet set up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna send some soul into this wallet. I'll copy this address and here we go. So now I have a balance. Say we wanna send some Solana right now. I have a few dollars in this wallet as an example. We can go ahead and click on the send button over here and we can put in the amount 0 0.05 and I need to put in my recipient address. I'm just gonna paste it in there and then I'm gonna click on send. And now it needs verification. So we're gonna click on the QR code right over here. It's giving me a QR code and what I wanna do is I wanna scan it. So on my Keystone wallet, you can see the little scan icon up here in the corner. I'm just gonna tap that. And now it wants to start scanning the QR code. So I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna point it at the screen and I have one. And then I get the option to sign. So I'm gonna sign it and it needs to biometric scan. So I'm gonna scan my finger and that's done. What it's gonna produce is QR code where I'm gonna have to scan on my computer. So I'm gonna get that and I'm gonna show it. And there we go. That looks like it's done. It's confirming the transaction. Click on done here. If we go into the activity section over here, we can see that the send transaction has been completed uh, if you go over to the chain. So we can see over here on SoulScan that this, the transaction was successful and we've completed it. So that is how you use Keystone hardware wallet connecting to SoulFlare, the Solana blockchain, and it allows you to do transactions using your wallet and browser. Now that is just how to use the SoulFlare wallet, but obviously that is not the only thing you can do with the hardware wallet. You can also connect it to MetaMask in the exact same way and approve all your transactions using your hardware wallet and your hardware wallet is not touching the PC at all. So it's an excellent tool for that. You can also see that we also have Polkadot, XRP. And if you go over here into the menu up at the top and we select my keystone and in here you have other cryptocurrencies listed. Uh, let's use Ethereum as an example. You just have to select it. And in here we have our Ethereum wallet. When you select it, it displays your QR code as well as an address like you would with any other wallet. So you can give this QR code to whoever you want to, or you can provide the address and that's how you receive funds. And that process would be the same for all the other addresses that we have listed in here. The unique feature about the Keystone Pro is that you can actually connect it to MetaMask and SoulFlare and use it within your browser itself and authorize the transactions using the QR code like we did with SoulFlare. And you're actually not going to be connecting your hardware wallet physically to any device. You're just performing these transactions using QR codes. And that is the Keystone hardware wallet. If you found this video useful, please smash that like button. If you're looking for other guides related to this device or other devices, please subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in getting your hands on one of these, I'll make sure I link that in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.